Okay, I'm gonna use one of them. Kaplow! 69? And... Efficiency? 100! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back Tropico 6! I'm nearby to the desert, gentlemen! We will continue the DLC, the Caribbean sky. So last time, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> well, <laughs> shit have hit the fan. Literally speaking, shit has hit the fan. Now, as you can see, this the DLC is finally out. I'm recording this on the day when the DLC actually got released. Uh, so yeah, we got uh, the previous missions have been blocked for obvious reasons, right? Because we have to do the previous mission if you want to actually uh, advance forward. So you all know how the previous mission ended. I'm not going to spoil anything. But we are going back to the colonial era after... Okay, whatever. There's a bit of a spoiler over here. Uh, era colonial, mission focus, terraforming, pirate attacks, food production, custom rules, terraforming, infertial ground. Of course, we're gonna do this thing on hard difficulty. I'm running only the Caribbean Skies DLC. As I said, uh, I will try to play all of the DLCs on the final mission once again to, you know, add a bit of a spice. But for sure, I think I'm gonna avoid uh, Lobbystico because the corruption mechanic is... I don't like it. I mean, it's a cool mechanic, but I just don't like it. <laughs> it annoys... I want to build big. I want to have a big Swiss back account as well. And the corruption is... Well, you, you get the idea. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, grab yourself your Caribbean rum, grab yourself your Caribbean cigars, grab yourself Caribbean sunglasses, because we are going back to terraforming. Are we? Ah, most beloved governor, what an idyllic island, the perfect island to break free from the shackles of the crown. It will be a glorious, independent tropico under the leadership of the one and only El Prezi. Spoilers. Penultimate spoilers. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, good landing. Presidente, are you all right? Don't worry about me. I only broke four, uh, correction, five ribs. <laughs> ah, as expected, not even space and time can harm El Presidente. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Penultimo. Oh, oh my. Don't worry, Presidente. I will clean the remains of our temporal counterparts off the windscreen right away. <laughs> It seems even the universe knows that there can be only one El Presidente. Yeah. Wait, if you're gonna kill me in the past, that means I'm gonna disappear from the future. Oh, what a terrible tragedy that meteor was. Everything you'd built, all the money you had amassed, all gone in the blink of an eye. I get teary-eyed just thinking about it. Penobtomo, relax. As El Presidente, I always got a backup plan of a backup plan just in case if the backup plan fails. The third backup plan, that is. Oh, President, I just noticed I don't recognize this island at all! Is this a different tropical? Did we land in the wrong dimension? Ah, all those scientific questions give me a headache. Let's not worry about the details any longer. I'm not a scientist, but I think the chance of that uh, destiny meteor returning to finish the job are high enough to worry about. So you must prepare. Sadly, we lack the technology to stop the meteor. So for now, all we can do is build a stable foundation on which the glorious nation of Tropico may rise once more through Excuse Tropico. Excuse me, Governor. There is... Did you get a haircut? New suit? Did you finally take a bath? There's something different about you. Oh well, in any case, you and I have a little problem on our hands. Lord Roger Windham, my nemesis, we meet again. You see, it's probably not surprising that I have a very successful and good-looking son. He takes after me in many ways. That would be a surprise. It makes me proud. However, thanks to his modern genes, he's also terribly lazy and dislikes mountainous hard work. And, as Locke would have it, he's also in charge of a tropical island nation. This is why you, Governor, will do the monotonous hard work for him. You will produce enough to keep both islands running smoothly and, if you don't well, Let's just say the crown dungeons runs deep and always have room for one more delegate. Well, fuck you. Okay, right. So, ladies and gentlemen, we are back in the uh, in the in the colonial era, and you know what that means? Spawning around all the bloodiest plantations I can. What the fuck? Oh, don't tell me. Oh, son of a bitch. Oh, you've got to be fucking kidding me right now. 
Okay, Penultimo, grab the shovel. We got a bigger problem. Okay. I cannot make money out of sugar and rum as I usually do. Okay. Right, so those two things, actually three of those things go out through the, through the window. Can I get gold instead? Let's see, do I have gold deposits? I got some deposits, and there is actually a huge gold deposit nearby. So since I'm stuck in the colonial era anyway, I'm just gonna dig out it all. Nobody cares about that thing, that's for sure. Uh, mines. No, mines, I'd say it. Okay, I'm gonna leave some space just in case if I have to build another one. I can get the teamsters once again. Uh, we cannot get the drones, which is... Well, a bit of a problem, but nothing we cannot handle, right? Uh, okay, like mess a road over here, then a road over here. Don't make too many roads, because in this era, well, transporting goods around is gonna be a bigger problem than you may think. Uh, the mines have how many people? Five people. Okay, so I'm gonna build you houses in the middle, like here, here, and actually, now what, let's build on the opposite side. There you go. Okay, cancel this one. Right. How much money I can get from logging? Hmm. Logs. 150. I mean, 1,500. Bananas are more worth it. Coal is more worth it. Coca is more worth it. Uh, what about planks? 2,000. Not enough. Rum is 9,000. Sugar is 2.5. Right. Okay, let's sort it by money. Okay, so gold is gonna bring me some money. Letter is second. All right, let's let's make some letter then. I think I should have some ranches around here, right? Oh, of course. Let me guess. Ah, uh, I can't even have fucking ranches. This is gonna be a real problem, Penultimo. So what's the second, third, actually best thing I can make money on? Fish. Okay. Why not? Nobody told me I can try. Right, get that thing done. Uh, okay, we got a we got a cathedral over here. Help first, preach later. So this is gonna increase the healthcare happiness as well because I don't think I got a healthcare building right in this era. Yeah, we don't. Also, gonna need a private cove if you want to get some sugar. But first things first, let's build the already uh, planned buildings and see how this thing is gonna go. Right, get El Press. Yes, yes, yes. I know. Um, get over here. And you're gonna work on the gold miner. It is outrageous, Presidente. That man had the audacity to talk to the great El Presidente. Oh, oh, wait. Oh, it just dawned on me. You're not El Presidente yet, Presidente. I am so terribly sorry, Governor. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I was looking for the text over here. All right. Rest assured, you will always be El Presidente in my heart. For the, this time, begin, we must keep on the facade that you are just the governor. It pains me to say it, but I think we have no choice but to do that, uh, as that Lord Woodham says. Oh, this pathetic island is apparent apart from some trees and coconuts, but don't worry, governor. My furfulness leads me to leave this thing in the trunk. It's a device that produces little bombs capable of fertilizing areas in the size of entire football stadiums. At this, that's what its shifty sermon in the dark alley told me. The recipe for fertilization bomb is one handful of coconut water, a bucket full of the left, left eyes of fish, and one tree worth of sand dust. <laughs> what on earth are those? For <laughs> what on earth are those for measurements? Built a fertilization cannon. The fuck is a fertilization cannon? I don't know. Where in the seven hells is a fertilization ca? Produces fertilization bombs from coconuts, fish, and logs. Fertilizer bombs can be fired at any chosen point on the island. <laughs> okay. He also wants me to build a room distillery, so sure, I'm gonna slap it like here temporarily. Of course, uh, we later on I have to, yeah, extend the mandate by 18 bombs. That's exactly the thing I need. Of course, we are running this thing on the hard difficulty because I'm not expecting any other difficulty. That's the first thing. Support. Okay. Sure. We're gonna get voting in the colonial era. That's not gonna work, man. Uh, oh, and I forgot, completely forgot to mention that the key, of course, has been supplied by Calypso, which I'm very, very grateful. As always, ladies and gentlemen, the game is now available on Steam. There's gonna be links in the description below, as always, so go ahead, give it a try. And I do hope you will enjoy, because this does not add only one mission. It adds a bunch of buildings, 
uh, and also demand timeout. I didn't have it in demand. And also it adds not one, but five new islands and a little mini campaign with new friends, new enemies, new threats and new pain in the asses. So I do hope you will enjoy. But for now though, let us make some money. Let us thrive. Let us make Tropico great. Once again. Ah, great. We got a mission to build the Pilot Cove. So I'm gonna fulfill two things at the same time. Pilot Cove and slap you this bad boy over here. And of course make a road connection. Mm. There you go. Okay, that should work. Uh, yeah, the room the salute is getting built. Goldman is built. Send in a press. With the building go over there so that's gonna increase the output hopefully uh, okay right and now we just have to build the fertilization cannon right I think I'm gonna slap it what well, is like some big big land I think I'm gonna try to make some fight yes extend the mandate I'm gonna try to build it somewhere is this it does it have range no it does not okay good so just slap it somewhere <laughs> <laughs> Such a gigantic <laughs> It's a coastal defense, okay? That's what it is. Right, so we don't have uh, sugar plantations yet, but we got the pilot code, so I'm gonna send my trusty pirates and want them to give me some sugar. I've blocked the exports of sugar, so obviously. And this is sugar consumption. Let's get this upgrade. There you go. That should be helpful. We should be able to actually do something with this thing. Okay. The fertilization cannon is about to get built. Is there anything else we could... Oh yeah, I need to get some... Uh, let's get some, uh, you know... Uh, buildings for our people, so they're gonna be actually happy. Groceries, I don't think we need a groceries. Chapel is fine for now. Yeah, I, I think we're fine. Okay, the cannon is about to get built. We just have to wait for future missions from... Lord uh, Gigantic Pothole in the God knows where, and... That's a lot of immigrants. Okay, that's a problem I'll have to eventually deal with. Shit. Ranch. Don't pop up a quest like that because it's really bloody annoying, you know? Oh, warehouses. Uh, right, ranches. Sure. You want me to build two of those? Uh, you know what? I can just build them. I can just build them and crocodile later. Yeah, I can just build them later on. We're gonna move them to a better, su more suitable location. Just build them. Just build them so we can inc increase our mandate. And the cannon, high priority. Come on. Yes, produce fish. Beautiful. The fuck is this? The amount of fertilization bombs you currently have. Click on the place of. Oh, okay. Produces fertilization bombs. Okay. Technology from the far future of the 21th century can turn even the driest deserts into lush green forests. Bring with life, perfectly suited for plantations, ranches, factories, roads, and even parking lots. I really hope you can build like this thing later on. <laughs> hey, that looks familiar. <laughs> this is a coastal defenses. I must say I'm the glad to be Yeah, I know. It's, it's a coastal defense building, but also it's a parking slot for my limousine. And can turn a desert into a paradise. Beautiful. So I wonder exactly how does this thing works. Oh. Placement. Okay, so I have to uh, plant some of those. Okay, what is some... Where's, where's some... Oh, okay. I think I can try to use this thing. It's like enough space over here. I don't want to get too close to the volcano because of obvious reasons. Uh, wait, can I make like plantations over here? I think that'll be like decent, right? I just have to turn this entire place into a lush forest but yeah i think i can actually work with this thing jesus oh my god <laughs> okay so what does it give me oh oh my god oh sweet mama llama Corruption. oh oh <gasps> Oh, this is gonna be great! Even a caveman could do it. Lucky for us. This way we won't have to employ smart people to make the bombs. Good job! Now the more get free fertilization bombs. Uh, get me some more money. Extend the mandate. So I got... Let's see what these bombs can do. Will they turn this barren wasteland of an island into the paradise Tropico used to be? Or will it go horribly wrong and bite us in the posterior? Probably both. One more thing though. The instruction manual some somebody threw into the crayon 
Somebody threw with crayons. Says that the bomb effect and permanent. The fertility is flatting and the land will soon return to its barren state. Well, now I feel like cheated. Thankfully, I didn't pay real money for those things. However, I'm asking for a recept. Recept next time I buy something from some shifted stranger. Oh. So that's a downside of this thing. Wait, can I build more of those? Nope. It's a one build only. So you wanna tell me that eventually... Yeah, it's already going low. Oh no. <laughs> you bastard. You bastard. Okay, well, I, c I can work with this thing anyway. Uh, plantations. Right. So... Sugar is gonna go first. Yeah. We're gonna go with the standard building every bloody ass plantation possible mechanic. Uh, okay. Actually, I'm not gonna start with sugar. We're gonna start with... Coffee? No, we're gonna start with corn. We need to get some food for my people. So... Corn... Yes, yeah, slap it over here. Then pineapples on the opposite side. Like this. Then sugar. Yeah, sugar can actually go a little bit further away. Uh, what else we gonna need? Sugar. Coffee. Yeah, coffee would be nice to have. So let's get coffee. Let's get cotton. Let's get then sugar. Then let's get coca. On the opposite side because reasons. Uh, cotton? I don't think I had hot cotton, right? And pineapples on the far end. Okay. And behind all of this bullshit, we're gonna build the ranches. I have to just move them. So, build a new one. Relocate building. There you go. And relocate this bad boy over here. And then relocate his friend right next to it. Okay. Now, the next time I'm gonna finish a job for the revolutionists, we need to basically get more people. And this thing goes here, and this thing goes here. Okay, beautiful. And of course, we need to add some type of a housing around here. Because reasons, right? So, chapel, and a bunch of houses. Like, a lot. It should work. So basically going around, building, you know, taverns, building houses, fulfilling all of the needs, uh, all of the requests, stuff like that. Uh, okay, I wonder if I'm gonna launch the bombs now, because apparently this thing is not making bombs around the clock, it's just making, well, the bombs when I actually have a quest for that. For free, a trade route with the Empire, okay. Uh, would you like to buy some locks maybe for me, because I'm actually selling that thing. I think, right? Yeah, I should be selling some locks. Uh, okay, right, wool, sugar, and coconuts. Good, 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 good. Our revolution is as yet only... Yeah, it's gets, giving more immigrants. And that means more people, hopefully, is gonna go to work at the plantations. So with that, in return, it's gonna give me, hopefully, more money. That's the plan. Will it work? I don't know. Uh, okay, is there anything else we need to do? Is there anything else we can do? I don't think so. Well, we just have to sit back and wait for the things to progress. And I'm losing money tremendously quick. That's a bit of a problem. Fish, wool, coconut, gold. Ah, selling gold right now. Beautiful. Do I have a trade route for the gold? Yes, I do. Sweet. So that's gonna mean more additional money. Say, and quest done. Extend the mandate. Seven years in the seat. Uh, 25,000, 24,000 around in the, in the treasury. Okay, people are moving in. Ah, nice. Okay, so some of the plantations are already uh, full of people. So we're just gonna slap a few more houses. I'm gonna, of course, get you another uh, chapel over here. Because I don't have any other means of healing, you bastards. And... Hmm... Not gonna need that thing. What is... Oh, I know what I need. I need... I need to export meat for the quest. So cattle it... Wait, actually, can I get something big? There you go. That's gonna be a little bit better. So build two of those. Okay, we should be completely fine. I've built the dungeon. Produce fish, sure. Uh, so now I need to start preparing some defenses. Ah, we're exporting huge quantities of rum, which is great. Those guys are... Okay, you're still farming me sugar, which is awesome. So basically speaking, I need to start building some defenses because as the mission objective stated, there are gonna be some pirate attacks very soon. I got huge amounts of people around here. Okay, we just need to fulfill one more quest for the revolutionists. And that thing should give me enough people to work on the plantations. Which means 
basically I'm gonna drop the bombs like crazy. I'm gonna drop it like on Hiroshima and that should give me uh, enough of a boost in my economy to build the forts, fortifications, towers and stuff like that. Okay, wool girl just delivered. I need to fulfill a trade route with the crown. So I of course ordered them to sell wool uh, over here, right? I'm making money on those, but this one is necessary for me to ex uh, extend my mandate. So as soon as the wool will be delivered from the port, speaking of, I'm glad to be... me too! Now fuck off my island! Uh, right, there you go. Produce this fish. Can you do it a little bit faster, please? Come on! A little bit faster? A little bit faster! Come on! Come on! You can do it! Come on! Come on! Give it to me! 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 <laughs> I need the motherfucking fish to get produced! Come on! No, oh, really? I'm missing 51 fish? I could understand if I would be missing 50 fish. But that one, additional one, is like spitting in my face. It's like, phew! Uh, press! Come on! Also, nobody spits on a uh, president and <laughs> lives long enough to tell the tale! Uh, okay, good. You've actually failed at the thing I wanted you to do in the first place, but whatever. Like, you cannot be perfect as El Presidente. Of course, now you want another trade route. What a surprise! Tobacco, rubber, milk, meat, logs. Yeah, sure, export logs. Can you get me the fish? Please! Ugh, this is gonna take ages. Holy shit, man. Hmm. Increases the maximum of households. Housing quality is decreased. Okay, maybe not do that thing right now. Can you guys make the fish? Come on. Make the fish already. Also, I'm kind of thinking... Uh, wait, Could, should I try to do any of those? Prevent citizens from dying. Citizens cannot have heart. Uh, okay. I don't know if any of those actually useful at this stage in the game. Education is not, like, necessary for this stage of the game. And we don't have politics anyway, like... Yeah, the, 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 the monuments are really cool for the later stages of the game, like... Uh, Samarakant is really cool, I really like it. Stone Age has a use in, from, in some missions, so it's a really fancy one. Hagia Sophia? I never built the Hagia Sophia one. I just didn't. And same goes for the Brandenburg Gate. I, I just never built that thing. I just didn't. What? I, fo I just fulfilled that trade uh, export thing with you. Why you didn't got completed the quest? Huh? Export room, you dipshit then. Holy shit. But anyway, let's drop the bombs. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay, yeah. No, what? I think I can actually drop it like this. Here. Go, my little one. <laughs> Yay. This, the bombs are reliable. Which reminds me, I found a few more. A couple of children were using them as footballs. I promptly took them away and gave them Tropico brand balls instead. Good job, Panotomo. Okay, so we got that thing out of the order. So now I have to fulfill those. Wait, can you... Oh. So eventually I can fail this thing if I want to act fast enough. That's... that's interesting. Okay, allow local consumption, this not really. Sound crazy, but I think we're missing some of our fertilizer bombs. I could have sworn I saw some lying on your desk just this morning. Were those dreadful pirates here again? I don't know, you tell me. Deliver coconuts and fertilizer. Okay, so I can actually make more. Ah well, I guess it can be helped, but we just have to make a few more. What was the recipe again? Coconut dust, <laughs> fish water and wood ice? Doesn't sound right. Wait, I'll find the napkin somewhere. Don't worry, Governor. Your faithful Panantomo has the situation completely under control. I have my doubts. Yeah, I thought there's a time limit. No, it's not. Great. Okay. I can sit back and relax, thankfully. Crap. Oh, no. Oh, come on, really? Yeah, Governor. <laughs> Psst, don't be startled, Governor. I infiltrated the filthy pirates that are trying to raid us. I, I mean, are you scurvy, Governor? Give us some booty or test our swords. Ah! Well, not tomorrow, you're gonna be the next one I'm gonna load to the fucking coastal defense cannon. Ah, I see pirates we have not brought. So, not surprised. So, we want one of fancy cannonballs. 
with we shall become the greatest pirates in history. In exchange for the cooperation, we'll be uh, willing to leave your, you and your we island unmolested. At least for now. Arr. Clicking on the pirate button to give them a fertilization bomb. All attacking pirates will leave Tropico. How much are you gonna go and fuck yourself? What is the cost of the? F oh, I have, don't have my four. Okay. Take the bombs and fuck off. Why are those guys are still attacking? There you go. Okay, I need to get more bombs. I need to get those bombs now. The motherfucking pirates are attacking again. Governor, the pirates be thirsty. Oh, you've got to be kidding me right now with this. Okay, you you're starting to be really annoying, Penultimo. You know that? Governor, the pirates have agreed to our. Yeah, sure. Take the rum and fuck off. Okay, fuck it. I'm gonna pay you. Ugh. Complete it's loot, nice right? Loom destroy the one that they they are about to destroy. Thanks. Actually, this is a, this is a not bad idea. I'm just gonna build you one over here. Then I'm gonna wait. Actually, hold on. Not not here. Build one loom destroy over here, so the pirates are gonna attack this thing instead of that thing. It's a brilliant idea. Ah, good. The room that is about to get built, uh, but I really need to get the defenses up and running as well. Where are all of my builders? What in the seven hells are you all doing? I got how many? I must Six say. builders. And I, and I only see three of them at a time working. <laughs> Where is the rest of them? This is gonna be a real pain in the ass. Okay, uh, you guys are doing anything? Yeah, you are riding something. Okay, so how about you gonna continue riding? Give me sugar. Build a tavern. Sure! I love to build a tavern. Tavern's like so great. Make one over here. And also swap this thing to helping with the healthcare. This might... Yes, keep making the bombs. I'm gonna turn the entire planet into a gigantic green fucking forest. And then I'm gonna fuck everybody in the, between the trees. Okay, port ready. And I don't see any people inside. Hello! If a worker has healthcare... Yeah, get that thing. Deliver room to the fertilization cannon. Yeah, so, so they're gonna basically return the... <laughs> return the fertilization bombs. Back to me. Okay, I'm gonna use one of them. Kaplow! 69? And... Efficiency? 100! This is what I like to see. Okay, I actually got more bombs that I can use at the moment, which is kinda annoying. Okay, can you... Hi. Arrest Tropican somebody. Uh, screw you for now. I got more important things to do. Right, and if you could please build... Uh, export meat. Okay, that thing is working. We just have to export sugar. Which I don't have that much, if you think about that. <laughs> Which is really annoying. Really annoying. But anyway, let's search the man. I'm getting slowly and steady to end of my record time. So for now, I'll have to leave this thing as over here. If you want to try the DLC yourself, link in description below. As always, so go ahead, give it a try. Let me know what you think. And, well, I do hope you will have time traveling back. <laughs> Whatever you're gonna be traveling. If you want to know what exactly I'm talking about, then I highly recommend that you're gonna watch the first mission of this newest DLC. But as I said, for now, I'm gonna leave this thing as obvious. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like if it's up, please up a lot. I'll see you all in the next video.